What's up everybody? It's your boy C3 and today I'm going to show you a great way to store some of your vintage and your Silver Age comic books. I had this request made to me a few months back. I thought it would be a good idea. So I figured today would be a great day for me to show you that. All right. So hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and we're going to dive right on in. And please leave a comment in the comment section. If you like this type of content, I'll continue to drop videos like this that will inform you and give you ideas on how to enhance and improve your collection. All right. You guys know what it is. It's good vibes only, ladies and gentlemen. Check the nonsense at the door. We are only here for the love of the comic books. But if you want to feel free to hate, please do so. But do so silently. Shh. Be quiet in the back. Big people are talking. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's do what we do. Let's enjoy the hobby. Okay, so we're going to get started. What I want to do is start off by sharing with everybody the tools that I use in my process of going from a package that I get in the mail and then storing it into my collection. All right. So what I like to have present is a pair of powdered free plastic gloves. I know a lot of people like to use those white cotton gloves, but I myself, I prefer these. It still it allows me to be able to be able to feel the pop, the, the comic book also um and, 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 you know, so I can continue to flip through the pages if I need to or something. I keep a microfiber because I, I definitely like to wipe down my comics to try to remove any possible fingerprints. Um, I have, as you can see right here, I have my My Light 2s um, protective sleeves. And at the moment, I'll be using uh, current size uh, My Lights and I'll be using the current size bag. And, I mean, the, the boards also, as you can see right here. And here I have my top loader. Uh, this will be toward the final process and I have the comic that I have received in the mail. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pop my gloves on. All right. And you guys know the routine, like, you know, it's good vibes only. I hope you guys enjoy this. I got a lot of requests to do this video, so that's why I'm doing it. People often ask me, you know, how do I store my comics? And then they requested that I do a video. So I'm going to take this opportunity to fulfill that that promise that I made to some of the comic book uh, community, all right? So I have my blade, and let's open up the comic, all right? First of all, I'm gonna take my time and pop this open for us. You guys know the routine, cue the music, <laughs> but keep your clothes on, all right? Here we go, nice and easy. And not for nothing, please uh, forgive me for all the background noise because, again, uh, I am smack dab in the middle of the hood and I can't stop the world from moving, okay? But I wanted to make sure I put this video out for you guys. All right, pop that open. This is what it looks like. This is how it came. All right. Now, let's see what we got here. set this down I like to take my time because I don't want to damage what came all right oh cool all right so as you see this is a uh, Batman issue 189 is the first appearance of Silver Age Scarecrow all right First appearance of Silver Age Scarecrow. And as you can see, the top part of the cover has been ripped off. And I know many of you may ask the question, well, C3, why buy a comic with the top of the cover ripped off like that? Well, for me, it's a part of history. Um, and, you know, you remember when your comic shops used to, they ordered X amount of copies and they had some that might have come in or some were damaged. Well, the, uh, the distributor would, you know, would have them rip the top of it and they can send it back and, and get uh, get the, get that money put towards uh, other purchases that they make if they sent the other copies back in, right? So they would normally rip that top cover. Uh, the person, they have this labeled at like a 3.0, right? Uh, nine inch, got a little bit of tape on the spine or whatever, but we're going to pop it over. We're going to take a look and see what it looks like on the inside, all right? 
just want to give it the once over. I always inspect my books before I store them. Make sure I purchased, I paid, I got what I paid for. All right, let's move this out of the way now because we don't need that. We'll get a little space right here. All right, get us down on a nice flat surface. All righty. So, now we're going to inspect this. We're going to take a look at the top cover. Yep, it's been sliced at the top. We know that. All right. The spine. We got some spine ticks there. And again, this is the first Silver Age appearance of the Scarecrow. Iconic cover. Um, I'm happy to have this in my collection for the simple fact is, is that uh, I'm a big Batman fan. Love all his baddies. Look at that. Beautiful. All right, so it is held on by the two... Uh, staples you know we can see the little rip there I'm okay with that um I think I at, at, I think I paid about $47 for this comic book so I was able to get my hands on the first Silver Age appearance of, of Scarecrow for like $47 and that includes shipping and handling so I'm pretty happy about that you know so and we take a look we, we, I want to thumb through it just a little bit more not gonna go crazy you know We've got the off-white coloring. I'm a big fan of history. Like, I just love that that old comic book smell that I'm receiving right now. And believe it or not, this book is going to get read. I'm going to read this book. I most certainly am. All right? But I just want to just go through it real quick with you guys. Look at the beautiful artwork that's done inside this look 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 at how the colors even beyond time like the colors still continue to just lift themselves up off the page um i remember displaying this in one of the videos and if you could see this panel right here if you could see this panel right here you see that that's one of the images uh that i pulled to use to uh highlight this particular comic book you know so and 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 and, and also you guys get an opportunity to see that I'm not just showing you comic books and have you guys out chasing comic books that don't amount to a hill of beans or that are just spiking because of a movie or something that's coming out. I go after uh, vintage comic books. I go after comics that are worthy of adding to your PC, that do over time add value to your PC. And I'm... I'm out getting the comics, so I'm, I'm not just sitting. I'm not just putting comic books in front of you to just have you guys go out and grab comic books. I always show you guys comic books that I have an interest in. Man, I love this book, man. So it looks good. It's in great shape. Like I said, I'm not really concerned about Batman. Look at look at Batman and Robin. <laughs> Yeah, I love it. I love it. I love it, man. I love the color. They're in the back cave. Look at the back computer. Wow. Absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. So, I'm pleased with what came in the mail. All right. Fright of the Scarecrow. Let's turn it over and take a look. See what we got. Perfect. All right. So all of these items were in the description. It did mention that it had to tear along the back spine back there. It has the missing corner right here. All right. And I'm okay with that. Like I said, I paid $47 for this book. Able to get my hands on a Silver Age appearance, first Silver Age appearance of the Scarecrow for $47. I'm going to open it from this area back here. And as you see, I'm very gentle with my comics. I, I take my time, especially when I'm dealing with my older comics. All right. Wow. You guys remember the old advertisement? I know I do. They just bring back such memories. And keep it, if you guys like this type of content, leave a comment in the comment section. I drop a video each week. 
I also try to drop videos that keep you guys engaged while I put together your top tens. But if you guys like this type of content, leave a comment in the comment section. And I'll always do my best to try to fulfill those requests, all right? Beautiful. Beautiful. Look at that. Look at that artwork. Man, they do not make or write comics the way they used to, man. It, we're, we're getting something extremely different. Um, so this is why I really appreciate my Silver Age collection. And this is definitely going into it. Yeah, see, we have a piece that came up here. And I'm anticipating that this came from... Is this from one of the pages? Yep, this one might have this might have came off one of the pages. So I'm gonna go ahead and follow through with the video, and then I'll go through it once again, and then I'll show you guys uh, how to store your comic book. So first thing I would like to do is get this nice and flat on the surface, and just take a little fiber just to go over it, just to get anything off of it that I could feel, right? Because that's what the fiber cloth is for. It helps me feel the inconsistencies in the surface, right? So yeah, I can, I can feel that there's some grudge here, right? So I, I, I know what's going on with my comics. And I hit the little up and down areas just to wipe clean, you know, before I put it in the bag. And boy, I don't want nothing wet sticky getting into that to that my light all right i'm gonna flip it over and i'm gonna do the same to the front i'm gonna take my fiber i'm just gonna go up and down like i know that spine has some things going on with it i'm gonna make sure that i don't kink on the on the staples and i just outline the book then I go up and down. Yep. And, the, and, the, and like I said, the microfiber, it cleans in a nice, soft way, but it also helps me feel the inconsistencies in the book on the cover. All right? And this is a process that I do with all my vintage comics that I get. All right? So now, this one is ready to go inside the My Light and in the board. Now, so I've got my current board and I've got my current my light. Now, what I like to do is I've seen a lot of people do this differently, but I'm going to show you how I like to do it. So I'm going to place this down here. I'm going to grab this comic book like this, right? And this is how I like to hold it. And let me find the opening. <laughs> All right. So. This is going to slide in like that. Always make sure I put it in easy so I don't snag anything. Get it level. And then I slide it down, right? Pull this out the way. I keep sliding her down. And then I get her here and I tap her in. All right, once I get her tapped in like that, I like to level her out. Like I like to make sure that it has proper spacing so that the ends don't begin to get tipped or bang, right? I like to make sure she's got proper spacing. If you guys can see that right there. Get her in nice and clean. Little spacing is on each side so that the comic has room to breathe, as I call it, having room to breathe. Right? See that? Comic has room to breathe. So like, you know, just in case, God forbid, but if I were to drop it or something, like it didn't, it won't bang the tip. Now, she's in there. Now, what I like to do for just more stability, the board. I like to make sure that it's sturdy. So what I'll do is I'll take another board and place it in the back of the comic. Right? So but I'll place it in the back in the opposite direction because it forms like 
this stable base. They layer down. Right? The stable base in which the comic will be well supported. So, like, if I display it, see that? Goes in nice and easy. Yep. So, when I display it in my background, as you guys often see during the videos, it'll be nice and stable. Right? It gives a nice, firm support. And that way, when I close her up, Right, I make sure that I've added a little pressure there. I grab the tape, bam, and then I put it here, right? Now, for me, at the tip of that tape, at the tip, very tip of that tape, I like to fold it, leave a little crease right there. That way, when I get ready to reopen it, I don't have to fight with the tape, right? So then I pull it down. Bam. And that way, when I get ready to open it, the tape is right there, and I don't have to fight with it. All right? So, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. My new Silver Age appearance of uh, Scarecrow has now been bagged and boarded in my light, ready to be displayed in the background. I know you guys uh, are wondering, wow, C3, I can't believe you bought that comic with the ripped cover. Absolutely, because to me, it's a part of history. And don't forget, it's still a first Silver Age appearance of the Scarecrow, right? So um, I already, I have a copy of this in my collection. This is a copy that I figured, hey, for, and, I, and, I, and I caught this at an auction too. So uh, you can't go wrong. I, I put a high bid in there um, and basically it only hit, $47. So I was happy with that. All right. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. This bag and board is all set. Now, the last thing we want to do is pop this baby in its new home, and this will keep it safe. We have our top loader. This will keep it safe. In about six months, I'll go through my collection. I'll determine whether or not how good and how, how clean the bag and board has been preserving it. If, if, if it does need to be switched, I'll switch it. If not, I'll leave it exactly the way it is. All right. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. A great way to store your Silver Age or vintage comic books. If you guys like this type of content, leave a like, subscribe, share this video also. All right. I'll continue to drop content like this if you guys want to see it. Um... I appreciate y'all for hanging out with me. Thank you for inviting me into your homes. I hope you guys have learned something as I continue to learn as I engage each and every one of you every day. I thank you guys. Have a beautiful, pleasant day. You know what I always say. Don't hate. Congratulate. Show some love because that don't cost you nothing. Appreciate. But no matter what you do, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> always keep it comics, people. Life is too good. Enjoy. Later, Gators.